Hello, welcome back to the Jojo series and today we are going to be replacing attributes with a combat table. I'm doing this so that I can make blocking easier because tables are organized. So let's make a folder in server storage and name it value manager. We're going to be inserting a module script. As you can see, we have a main speed attribute that I completely forgot. Now with this table, now with this new system, I can keep track of every single value without forgetting stuff. Now that I'm going to be adding an event called child added and connecting it to a function. I'm going to do the same with child removed. So it's for when a character is added, you know. And let's go to add in a function called add and the parameter is C for the character. New variable age and we're going to find for a child of class. We're going to find for a child the humanoid. We're going to check if there is a humanoid inside of the character. And then we're going to check if the humanoid exists. If the humanoid exists, then we're going to create a table. And then we're going to index the table with the character, the character instance. We can now make our values here. Stunt, we got attacking. We also got blocking for the next video, of course. We also got, what is it? Combo, yep. Combo is 1 and base speed. Base speed is going to be 16. As you can see right here, if you want to add in new values, you can easily do that by um, adding it here, you know. We're going to be doing the same thing for removal, except we are going to be removing the character from the table. So it's T and I could put C and equals nil to remove it. Removal C. And for the child added, add C. And then we're going to be adding in a new function, a new event, game. It's um, for IC and pair, so we're going to be using a pairs loop. We're going to be looping through the workspace for already existing children. It's to check if um, there's already an NPC for... Yeah, to check if there's already an existing NPC. And for child added, if a new NPC was added uh, or a character is added. And child removed is whenever a character died or gets deleted from the workspace. Alright, so let's test it out. We're going to be running, running the game. Alright, so we're going to be printing um, the table. Now we can access the table. Let's see what it's. Okay, so there's going to be one instance, which is this dummy. Now, if we add in another dummy and we enter again, there's going to be two values inside of the table. If I delete everything, the table will be empty because there is no character in the workspace. Now, I'm going to be renaming it to combat value. And let's go to stun handler. I'm going to be requiring the module require game dot service storage value manager and combat value i forgot to stop the game so let me rename this again combat value okay combat value right here now we're going to be making a new variable i'm going to call the variable c so the c will be cv and the index would be humanoid dot parent i forgot to put in dot parent here so humanoid dot parent is the character and instead of using an attribute, it's c.stun equals false. You see how easy it is to use it? You just use it like a regular property. And then c.base speed instead of get attribute main speed. And then we're going to be creating a new variable again called c. Local c equals cv humanoid.parent. I'm going to scroll back up because I forgot to put in the dot parent right here. Let's do the same thing, c.stand equals true, instead of false, and yeah, I think that's all. And then we're going to go to the combat. Let's require it. Local cv equals require game server storage value manager and combat value. I'm going to move the module table here. So it's cleaner, you know. Let's add in a new variable called C. Same thing. 
CV character and then we can just do C dot combo not CV C it's a mistake C C dot combo equals combo plus one C dot combo minus one equals combo C dot combo equals one it's so clear now because of the table Now let me organize this a little bit. I'm going to um, separate the standard tool with the values. Okay. We will see called CV character. You know the drill. Character get attribute combo. We're going to change it to C dot combo. We're going to change this to C dot attacking. We're going to change this to C dot stunt. All right now. So we want to add in a new value called unsummoning because it's not a thing in the combat value so we can just add in a new index called unsummoning equals false that's how easy it is to add in new values and you can keep track of it too c dot unsummoning equals oh no my bad then c dot attacking equals false i mean true you change the asri to c attacking C combo C attacking right there C dot attacking equals nil equals true false I mean false yep that is all and then we're going to go in the summon handler we're going to be requiring it again local CV game service storage value manager and combat value I'm going to move this right here uh -huh. to make it this a little cleaner for the cooldowns we, we don't need to worry about changing it to a table because it's a very complicated system I'll worry about it later now we can just um, add in the C variable right here on unsummoning local c equals cv character if c dot attacking and then return end c dot unsummoning equals true now we're going to be doing the same thing with the other summon handler in star platinum this is in monkey supreme oh yeah i forgot to do this c dot unsummoning equals false now let's do the same thing in Star Platinum Summon Handler. Let's close this. I'm going to organize it like like last time. Require the module script. You know the drill. And then paste it here. All right. Go to the unsummon. We will see. I will see equals CV character C dot attacking C dot run summoning equals true and then scroll down C dot run summoning equals false that's it and then we're going to be I forgot to um, edit some stuff like this we want to be removing this because we don't need it anymore because we won't be using attributes anymore and let's go to, back to the combat and instead of get attribute mean speed it's c dot base speed let's go to the barrage handler Require the CV again, combat value again. Local C equals CV self dot character. Going to set it to C dot attacking equals true. That's all in here. Now we're going to go to stop barrage. Let 
local c equals cv self dot character c dot attacking equals false all right i think that is all i'm pretty sure now let's play to test it out if it's all working properly or if i messed everything up okay someone yeah it's working fine now let's check my character to see if there are any unnecessary attributes nope only barrage cooldown and summon cooldown now if you want to um stun a character or use the combat table it's very easy to do so so let me demonstrate it by adding a click detector so when the click det detector is clicked i'm going to be uh, make stunning the player so we need to require the module game dot service storage character would be cv player dot character and to stun it we can just c dot stun equals true that's how easy it is you need to require it and then you need to get the character inside of the table and then you can just mess around with the values it's that simple so here i can m1 you can click now when i click on the part i shouldn't be able to m1 anymore because i'm stunned this is it for the video thank you for watching the next video will be about blocking see you next time